Welcome to this short tutorial how to use the 3D layer configurator in the new version of FIFLO 7.0. In this example, we have a 3D regional model. Initially, this model has one single layer. We will introduce more complex geometries by using our new 3D layer configurator. Here in the entities panel, we can see only two slices, slice number one and two. Let's go to the 3D layer configurator. As before, the 3D layer configurator has a 2D view and also a 3D view. But in this version, we have more convenient features to change the elevation in a specific part of the model domain. By default, all the slices are movable. We can change it to fix it by simply clicking on the lower part. Now we can introduce a slice in a distance of 10 meters from the uppermost slice. And we also set this new slice to fix. So the elevation cannot change in the next steps. Now we include three additional slices in between the old slices two and three. By default, the elevation is subdivided in equal intervals in these new layers. We change the elevation of the slice number four by simply drag and drop one of the files from the maps panel. The interpolation is carried out immediately and the results on the interpolation is available already in the 3D view. We continue modifying the elevation with the other slices. For the last one, we can alternatively use another option. There is a button to apply the elevation to any specific slice and nodal selection. If we zoom in, you can clearly see the additional slices have pinched out because of the interpolation. Let's continue modifying the elevation. Now we are done with these slices, but we can set them as a fix. We include additional slices between 3 and 4, only one slice, and we modify the elevation of these slices again with a map file. Let's drag and drop the file plane number 3. It's a dot file. Here we see the results of the interpolation, fix the elevation of this slice 4, and let's include additional slices to continue the interpolation on the other side of the model domain. The very advantage is that you can use the same file for different parts of the model domain by simply selecting the file name from the list and applying. Now we zoom in and we can see our final elevation in the 3D view, and we can also fix this location. Let's include additional slices between 2 and 3. One slice, we will change the elevation in this part of the model domain. Select the slice for the elevation change, and now select the map file playing 8 and simply drag and drop this file in the slice. Elevation is changing. Now we fix the elevation in the class list. Let's include an additional slice. more slices in between, and we can also change the elevation by simple double click on the name and type in the new value and pressing enter. Now we have a constant elevation of 4000 meters. We repeat the same step for the next slice, 3800 meters, enter and we see the elevation now in the 3D view. And the same for the next slice, 3600 meters and we have the three elevations, the uppermost slice is pinching out on the surface topography. We fix the slices with a correct in elevation and let's include additional slices to improve the vertical discretization in the model domain. 
three slices in addition. New slices subdivide the existing layer in equal thickness. And now we are ready to create our unstructured model. By pressing in the OK button, FIFLO 7 will provide you three possibilities how to handle this slice configuration. If you can see here, our initial model with one single layer has been remeshed. We have included the additional information coming from the different map files. Let's clip the model in the other direction. And we can clearly see that the 3D layer configurator has acknowledged the different changes of geometry in the model domain. To verify, we can simply plot any of the files that we use for the interpolation. Here we can see the dots in purple are the points used to interpolate the elevation in the model domain, and they coincide very well with the areas in the model domain. And here we have the entire model domain with the plane used for the interpolation.